Can I'm sorry bring relief to Nigerians bombed? Northern group questions amnesty for repentant Boko Haram terrorists. So this is what we need to see a northern group actually lambasting the government. Um, the Pan-Northern Social Political Organization, Arabah Consultative Forum, has berated the president Muhammad Buhari-led administration for reintegrating repentant Boko Haram terrorists into society. When repentant is used in this article, it's always in quotation marks. And you know what that means. Um, the national chairman of the group, Chief Aldo Ogwe, said the repentant Boko Haram insurgents should be prosecuted for the crimes he committed against Nigerians. He further expressed concern as a large number of these assailants have, that have caused many Nigerians grief are fighting their way back to society they once threw into anguish. Ogwe, a former minister of agriculture, made the observation in a statement he personally signed, which was released by the National Publicity Secretary of the ACF, Emmanuel Yahweh, in Kaduna on Tuesday. The statement was entitled on repentant Boko Haram terrorists and the principle of equity and justice. It read, we are currently witnessing large scale surrender of large Boko Haram members, uh, among whom are bomb makers, commanders, arsonists, rapists and child snatchers. Do we have good reason to cheer and hope for an end to this decade old insanity? Is is I am sorry enough to bring relief to Nigerians and the thousands of the dead and maimed? What of those victims bombed in churches, mosques, schools, and markets? What of all those men and women in uniform murdered by them? Who can count the thousands of widows and orphans they have created? So what do we do with them? Should we embrace them and trust them wholesale? Are their moves informed by altruistic repentance? We seriously doubt. We joined the governor of Borno, Papagana Zulum, the sheikh of Borno, Senator Ndume, and millions of Nigerians in pondering over this development. And our simple advice is bring them to trial or free all others presently in custody anywhere, while Nigerians, where we Nigerians plead guilty of naivety and gullibility in the extreme punishable by more insurrection and anarchy. Cool. Um... Okay, I'm, I mean, accurate, 1,000% accurate. And I think this is where maybe we're actually going to see, you know, um, we're actually going to see the Northerners actually very much proactive. And that doorman side will be put to rest, finally, because they need to react because it's, it's, it's more of a bigger insult to them because they were the ones who properly, intensely bared almost 99% or the, the brunt of Boko Haram insurgency and why the rest of Nigeria were well, mostly the southern part. Not that we didn't, but it was like a mental, a mental stress, a mental trauma. Which and we saw videos, we saw pictures and videos of people getting beheaded. We saw pictures and videos of people of the Shibok girls. We saw we saw evidence. We didn't physically experience or hear gunshots, but that alone was was. Yes traumatic um so yeah this system of integrating boko haram into society and armed forces as another strategy adopted in weakening our security system one thousand percent why what is the reason we can forgive them when they're in jail exactly this forgiveness that because it's like why would you want to put them in a team that they were fighting against especially as the opposition and like when it comes to conflict, I'm like, these are basic, basic concepts. Like, it's just logical. Like, why would you put your enemy in your team because your enemy has said that they are repentant and are now on your side and you believe them so quickly? You know what I mean? If anything, they should be used effectively, innovatively to understand and infiltrate into the mind and the system of how Boko Haram works that would give the Nigerian army leverage on how to defeat, but not adding them to the actual battle and physical fight because why why would they not be saboteurs why would they not sabotage it um this is what a joke we need to present in another front to kick against this amnesty nonsense really and truly the people that actually need to you know um give a united front is the northern people is northern nigeria the south can be supporting character side character um supporting actress but they're not going to be at the forefront because 
there are times where it's even it's even nice because there are times where the south has led the north to side with them in a situation when it comes to protest and they haven't so in this case it's not like a retaliation but if they want change the north is going to have to go out full out all guns blazing 100 percent they're gonna have to do it that's it uh, someone says righteousness exalt a nation but sin is their approach only truth and transparency can save nigeria if the so-called repentant book crime can be freed and forgiven then no nigeria needs to be in, in prison at all like and it's a very bad logic i mean release all of them like and i think this itself is i mean there's so many things that i've seen and i assume could have been tipping points for nigeria but this definitely serves as a tipping point i mean that triggering thing that just causes a wave of conflict and a wave of clashes and i think this is it because now prison systems will gonna be open people are gonna go to jails um prison um buildings and release a lot of prisoners and criminals because why should they be in jail if you're gonna if you're gonna grant amnesty to book our members and i think this one is a big one because this is very dangerous okay we're integrating them then how do we know who is who how do we identify who is who because they're gonna go back to these villages keep a low profile go around the day buy this buy that go around the street buy food buy fuel just do their normal things and you will not know that you're standing next to an ex Boko Haram member excuse me that of course would cause panic and it should cause the right amount of panic where nigerians are going crazy and i just like you know what that's it we're not taking it and there's a whole other process um protests in this country can only be effective when the north is involved if they're not and they're a huge chunk they're a huge majority they're a huge determinant as to how it will go and how the government will feel either intimidated or not but if the north is not involved then it gives the government more um leverage and more chances to actually attack the south and it, 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 they increase the 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 north not joining in protest and being active increase the chances of the government actually winning because the government will not take it as serious um yeah that's it really somebody here says this is a disgrace for southern southern politicians um no one can talk no one Rejected it, what a shame. Like how San Flan is using Juju for Southern as a politician. You know what? I can't even I can't even read that. Doesn't make sense. Put what you think about this in the comment section below. And you don't forget to like and subscribe.